Hey, sneaky next back tonight. Now, what if I said to you, you could have a f operating system for only three megabytes? Here it is, Colibri from Russia. A full GUI, a bit of a cross between Linux, Windows, and DOS, really. But three megabytes in download, really, really good. Boots in about three seconds, shuts down in one, and it's fully featured, really. I'll give you a little look around. We got a CD player, an amp, some development stuff there. There's a system, what have we got in systems? Have a quick look. A debug board, work with files, data processing, hex editor, table processor, clients. Now I couldn't actually get it to connect to the internet using also DHP, so I left it alone. Although it has got a little browser, but I've heard that it's not particularly brilliant. So I'll click the analog clock. There we go. Up on the top there. Move him along. What else can we show you? Let's go over here. We'll go down to the menu. We'll go down to Network, and then we'll go to Others. We've got a Timer, Screenshots, Calendar, Fonts. What else? We'll go to Help. There's a lot of the README files here with hotkeys, etc, etc. Go to Menu again. Go to Network. Under Clients, there's the old browser. I think I can get it to work, really. It would have been nice, wouldn't it? But apparently it does work, but not particularly brilliant. There's a Yahoo Messenger client, which apparently does work when you've got net. That's really, really basic. You put your ID in there, your password there, connect, bish bosh, off you go. That's another thing. Hmm, very good. We'll go up again to, where should we go? Network again. Clients and servers we've got. FTP, SMTS piece. Configuration for me net, which don't work, even though it says it does, but it doesn't. I did try, that's a pity really. We've got a lot of games, they really look like DOS games, but they work. There you go, look, Tetris is there. Lovely. What else should we try? Ooh, there's a block game. Very nice. And it's all comes with a GUI, which I thought for 3 megabytes is really, really good. There's another game here, just the old tile sliding games. I've got this running on 16 megabytes of RAM, basically. And it ain't doing hard, you know, it's not flinching at all. It will do your basic processes you want to do. What I would say, if you had a really, really old machine, like an old, a really old Pentium 60 or 75 or something, that would be ideal just to get it out of the shed on a 16-year-old machine and off you go. You can give it a bit of life if you could get the net going. That's the only thing. This tiny pad, there you go, bit of wording. Well, there's a calculator. All works. It's nice and quick too. There's a shell editor, ed uh, a shell editor there, should I say. Over here, oh, that's the text you can read as well, again. There's a debug board and a message board. Hopefully if you're connected to the internet, that is. What else is up here? A flat assembler. Okay, I'll pass on that one. Beyond me. But as you can see, it does actually work. And if we could get a network on it, that'd be really, really good. So I'm going to a little play with it over time and see if I can get it working, I'll let you know. But for three megabytes, it's worth the download, really, and give it a play with. Don't you think so? I do. I don't think it's ever going to be a mainstream thing, but if you want to get a really old machine working with a browser, this could be the one for you. I mean, we know Tiny Core is good, but that's like mammoth compared to this at 3 megs, isn't it? But hey, download it, give it a go, sneaky links out.